Hey guys, welcome to another video. For today's video, we're going to be looking at invert systems. Uh, I've had many questions regarding uh, working out invert systems. So, yeah, for this video, we're going to have a look at three different uh, size inverters. A 1000 watt, 12 volt system. A 3000 watt, 24 volt system. And a 5000 watt, 48 volt system. What are the differences between the three? Well, a 12 volt system can run off a single battery, whereas a 24 volt system would need to run two batteries in series, and a 5000 watt system would need to run four batteries in series. Okay, so what's the difference between parallel versus series? Batteries connected in series, if you take four batteries and connect them in series, your voltage would be 48 volts, Whereas if there were 100 amp hours, you'd still have 100 amp hours with batteries connected in parallel. Uh, if you've got four 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries, you'd end up with 400 amps per hour. For example, a thousand watt 12 volt inverter, and you connected 200 amp hour 12 volt batteries in parallel, you'd have 200 amps per hour out, and likewise if you connected 400 amp per hour 12 volt batteries you'd have 400 amp per hour out so next question is how do we calculate what the battery system is capable of, of doing in order to calculate the output of the batteries you take the battery voltage of the system times it by the capacity in amp hours so for example if you have one 12 volt battery and the battery is 100 amp per hour the system would be capable of doing 1200 watts per hour and if you had two 2400 watts per hour if you had four 4800 watts per hour so this brings us down to the batteries in terms of batteries you get two types of batteries for inverter systems you get lead acid batteries and you get lithium ion batteries now one of the biggest differences between lead acid and lithium ion is recommended DOD. When using lead acid batteries, it's recommended that you only discharge to 50% of the battery's capacity. Uh, when it comes to lithium ion batteries, uh, depending on the manufacturer, you can go down to about 90% of the battery's capacity. For example, if I take one 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery, you'd be looking at 1200 watts per hour if you were running a PC and your PC uses 600 watts, you divide 600 watts by 1000 watts per hour, which means that your battery's got the capacity to run for two hours. Uh, if you were using a lead acid battery, it's only recommended that you run the battery for one hour. If you were using a lithium ion battery, you can, you'd be able to run it for 1.8 hours. So if you were running four, 12 volt 100 amp hours that would equal 4800 watts per hour with running a 600 watt pc you'd be looking at 600 watt divided by the 4800 watts per hour it would give you eight hours if you were running on uh, lead acid batteries that would equal four hours it's recommended to run it only for four hours whereas with lithium ion batteries you'd have a run time of seven hours Okay, so once you switch over to from a 12 volt to a 24 volt system, where the 12 volt system running two batteries connected in parallel, you'd get 2,400 watt hours. A 24 volt system, you already already have two batteries, so two batteries times by the 100 amp hours would equal the same amount of time. So you'd have 2,400 watt hours. Very much for watching if you've got any more questions just leave them down in the comments and uh, i'll reply to them 
Um, but yeah, I hope you come right with building your own uh, inverter systems. And like, subscribe, and we will catch you in the next video.